Okay, so uh, as seen here, today we're going to be talking about ordering our groceries online, and this is a really, really helpful service, especially in times now if uh, you feel uncomfortable going out anywhere uh, with the whole COVID-19 fears. I completely understand that. So, um, yeah, so this is really uh, a helpful service. So who delivers groceries? Uh, many large grocery chains offer this service directly um, on their own websites. So whichever grocer is around you, they have a website that you can go on to and then you'll find a delivery link um, or something like that. Um, and others offer this service through an app uh, such as Instacart, which we're gonna be talking about in detail today. Um, and it's available to customers in the USA and Canada, which is great. Um, so grocery stores have their own delivery services, uh, Walmart, Loblaws, and Ralph's. And when you go on their website, um, you'll see a link like this um, to go and start ordering your groceries online. Um, so now these are all exclusively um, web grocery delivery sites. So we have Instacart, Grocery Getaway, uh, Amazon Fresh, and Fresh Direct. Uh, I actually didn't know that Amazon was doing something like that. So it's nice to see they're expanding out into their... Question there, how do yeah. we know if these people will serve our area? Okay, so um, we will take you through that. So generally, um, when you go on the site, um, right now we will go into Instacart. Okay, so um, this is how you'll know. So generally for something like, this is Instacart, so we'll be reviewing this today. And generally on the site... When you, when you log, uh, when you go to the site, so instacart.com, it will ask you for your zip code. If you are in Canada, it won't look much different. It will look yep. like <laughs> that. It will ask for your postal code. Good. Um, and so you'll put that in. So I'm just gonna put, I grabbed a random address from the internet. <laughs> so I'll put that in. So great. So then you'll press continue um, and then, um, if it's available in your area, generally it will just let you go through. If it's not, it will most likely stop you from going through. We'll say we don't offer this in your area. So you just, yeah, as long as you put in your zip code, that should show you. And most sites have some, that form of, of checking. So you'll be able to put your zip code in or postal code in um, immediately upon going on. And that's how you can know if they deliver to you. Instacart is great because what they do is they partner with grocery stores. So you'll see in a second, when you go on, you can select from grocery stores. So they just have shoppers that go in and do your shopping for you. And they can go to basically any grocery store in your area as long as they have a partnership. So we'll start by creating an account. So you just type in an email to sign up. I'll take you through this, loading, loading. And then um, I think by the end, it will require um, more information, but then it will take you to this and you can decide which grocery store in your area. So for us, we will do Publix. And then now you're in the store. So I know this has become an issue on a lot of these sites that they don't have um, delivery times available. So to ensure before you start doing your shopping that there's delivery times available, you click here, you click see delivery times and it will pull them up. So there's delivery times today, prior period, pickup times. And so right now, this is, this is common, this is happening. So I wouldn't, don't, don't worry about this. There's no pickup times available right now. Um, so that's gonna happen sometimes and you can choose it ahead of time sometimes, but if that's the issue, what I've done, the way to troubleshoot this is, would be to, to fill your cart and we'll go through it, proceed to checkout, and then you can keep it there on your screen and just refresh it every once in a while. And eventually slots do become available. It's a bit okay. of a hassle. So if you have a young person in your life that's used to sitting in front of the computer, you can you know, just give them your account info and they can go on to your cart. So now in terms of by actually selecting your groceries. So on the homepage, you'll have all these, you know, deals and stuff. But if you want to get more specific, you can go to departments. 
And then it will basically have all the different things you can guys buy. So you have dairy and eggs. So let's go to like milk, for example. So then you can buy your favorite milk product. And when you're buying something, when you're selecting something to put in your cart, you'll, you'll scroll down, you'll find the item. Let's get some oat milk. Um, it's delicious. And you press this plus button next to it. Now, when you press the plus button, it will give you the option to press it again. So you can get more than one item. Oh, and you can okay. keep going. And if you go too far, this minus button will show up and you can lessen the amount. And, or alternatively, if you decide, actually, no, I don't want that. Once you get back to one, you can just press this garbage can icon and you won't get it, but we will get just two. And then now that item is added to your cart, which is right here. The one thing you might run into is that they might be out of certain items, depending um, on when they uh, refill their stock. And so that's something that could happen. Um, so that's just something to be aware of going in and know, you know, if you really want a specific item and there might be, might be um, gone and you just have to be aware of them. So along with going to departments and searching for food, you can also search in the search bar up here and you can put, so here's a popular search term. So let's just, you can either type it out or you can select it. So let's do strawberries. And then it will come up with all of their strawberry products. Are there delivery fees? Um, yes, for this site, there are delivery fees. Um, it depends on the delivery service, um, but yes, there are fees. Okay, so now that we've selected some items, um, you will go, and you're ready to check out and have your food delivered, you'll go to your cart, which is right up here. Okay, so then from here, you're in your cart and you're gonna scroll down and you are going to, one second, you're gonna go to, to check out. So you're gonna click right here. So um, when you get to here, you'll have two options for, so you'll have your delivery. Um, and then you'll have pickup. So delivery, we'll have it delivered directly to your house. Pickup, it meaning they'll do the shopping for you and then you just go drive to the store and then put it in your car. So both are available. Um, for now, we'll put in delivery because this is, you'll have to fill out some information. So you'll fill in your address. So I'm putting in this random address. So fun. You'll fill in your address there. Um, I'll just send you for, you know, if you live in a building, so you have a unit number. Um, this is the zip code or postal code and then instructions. So I would always suggest to write um, leave at door. That way you don't have to interact with anyone. They'll just leave it at your front door um, and then you can go pick it up once they've left. Um, so then you can save that address. There we go. Um, so for now, great, there is a delivery window. So today, April 15th. And then within two hours, so that means it will be delivered within two hours of this thing. Um, delivery instructions again, yeah, leave at front door. And so too, also, so there, there is a delivery free, three nine, but there's also a, uh, the option to tip. So if you do want to tip, you can do that beforehand on, um, on your card that you're going to put in, um, uh -huh. just so you don't, again, so you don't have to interact with them and you can still um, tip them if that's something you want to do. So you continue here and then you'll put in your phone number. I don't know if this is a required field, but you want to put it in because um, in case that they no longer have the item that you wanted or something, or um, to get further instructions for delivery, they might want to call you. So. Okay, so then you'll fill out your name. Save. And then here you will fill out your um, payment info. Um, I will put that in and then it'll be, and that should be it. So once you put your payment info, you'll be able to place your order and that's kind of all you have to do.